Okay, you've got to picture this. You've had a boozy night the day before. The kitchen's still a mess. It's a beautiful day outside and you want to cook a full English. So what better piece of kit to do it on in the Norfolk Infinity Grill? For the full English, you'll need good sausages. We use Norfolk sausages, obviously. Black pudding, which is optional. I use a Lancashire black pudding. Then, my own preference is to use smoked bat bacon, but you could use streaky. Good tomatoes, field mushrooms, and bread for fry bread. And the option, baked beans. And then you can cook your eggs however you want it. My preference is for scrambled egg, but it's up to you. So the heat indicator is on 200 plus, which is a great sign. And I'm gonna cook these sausages on the solid top, the cast iron solid top to start off with. They're going on first because they take the longest time to cook. And you'll notice that I don't put any oil or anything on them. I think there's enough uh, fats in the sausages. So they go on first, because they take the longest. Then I'll deal with my black pudding. I do like black pudding. It's optional. And you do must remember to peel off the skin first and foremost. So that can go in. Nice. Let it sing to you. And then everything else sort of gets added in stages. What I do like about the Norfolk Infinity Grill is that you can moderate the heat and keep it really accurate. So when you're cooking something like fried bread and the sausages, you know they're not going to just be too hot and then just ruin everything. So you can do it all in moderation. Just put the lid down on that. Oh, yeah. Now, get everything else ready to go on in sink. So lovely field mushrooms. I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to add a little bit of butter to them all. So a knob of butter onto each one. So, a little bit of butter on the black pudding. Just a little bit. Halve the tomatoes. You could use those wonderful little cherry tomatoes if you wanted to. I think these are very good as well. Season the tomatoes and everything. Bit of black pepper. The baked beans. I wonder how many people think this is an essential part of a breakfast. I'm not that keen, but a lot of people do like them. And what's great about this Norfolk Infinity Grill is that these can just sit on here on a low temperature and just slowly stew away. Let's have a look in here. Oh, use my tongs. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is fried bread for you. A little bit of lard goes a long way with fried bread. Let's have a look at the sausages. Nice tram lines on them. Right, I think it's time to start adding all the other bits and pieces. The black pudding can sit at the back and just slowly cook away. The mushrooms sit on the front here. There is an order of doing things as to how long they take to cook each time. And the tomatoes. Now over onto the fried bread. Looking very crispy. Perfect. They'll sit up here on this plate, which is a warming plate. What I do need to tell you 
is that I'm using the ridge side of this solid top, but actually it's reversible. So you can do it on the flat top, which I reckon you'd probably be able to fry your eggs on there if you wanted to. It's great, great versatility. Keep turning your sausages. I, I do realise I haven't put my bacon on just yet, but that really is the last minute job. Beans are just trembling along on there, but they're, they're nice and hot already, so I'm going to take them off. Now, let's have a look what's going on under here. Mushrooms are cooking beautifully, and are just about there. Look at those. I think mushrooms do need that little help of a little bit of butter on them. Black pudding, whoa, is looking great. Use my Norfolk grill. Lovely. Just moving it about. Perfect. Sausages are now beginning to sizzle away nicely. That's the chef's bit, this bit. Tomatoes, I don't want al dente tomatoes because they can so they can stay on. And next what I want to talk about is scrambled egg. So break your eggs straight into the pan. Good free range fresh eggs. I'm really particular about scrambled egg. Knob of butter. Generous knob, stir it well. And this little hob on the side here, I reckon is ideal for scrambled eggs because you're not going to cook it on a really fierce temperature. I'm going to cook it slowly, keep it moving. And then by the time I'm with tomatoes and sausages are ready, I think the scrambled egg won't be far away. So that's going along there. Notice I didn't season it either. I don't season until the end. Now, space enough to put some bacon on. A little bit of moisture coming down from the sky, but that helps baste everything. I can see this is so good for cooking a breakfast on. So good. Oh, tomatoes are lovely, really softening up nicely. Right, tomatoes are soft. I don't want them al dente. Too many breakfasts I've had in my time where the tomatoes are semi-raw. I want them cooked. Perfect. Sausages are nearly there. Let's have a look at the scrambled egg. Nice and slowly, beginning to coagulate. Bacon, you see that moving nicely. Wow, that's staying really hot up there. Now the only thing next, really, is to concentrate on the scrambled egg. I don't want to turn it up, because I think everything's keeping nice and hot here. I'm just bring the baked beans back onto the back, at the back there. Okay. So I've just taken the scrambled egg off the heat and that to me is the consistency that I'm looking for for scrambled egg. I then season it as I put it on the plate, but let's get it all together. So, bacon. A little bit crispy if you want it. However you want it, I can do it. 
still nice and hot. That's what's impressive on that hot plate. A tomato, a mushroom, a beautiful butter-soaked mushroom. Fried bread. So, a sausage. Look at him. Black pudding. Get my tongs, get my tongs. Finally, the soft scrambled egg. And bearing in mind that most days I cook breakfast at Morstan Hall, I can honestly tell you it wouldn't turn out any better than that. Look at that, look at that. Need a little wipe on the plate, but that's a full English. Just one more thing, it's the optional, and that's the beans. Would I put them on? No. But hey, I'd realise a lot of people like beans. Look at that. That's a full English, which I couldn't cook better at Morstan. Done on the Infinity Grill. I think you'll enjoy it. Well, I know I'll enjoy that. <laughs>